Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number three, that is flowers and seeds. And today we will cover its eighth lecture. This is a review of chapter number three. That means we have covered all the student learning outcomes from this chapter. And today we will revise them. So, my dear students, before moving on towards the lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. You can also pause the video. What is pollination? Very good. The transfer of the pollens from anther to the sticky stigma of the carpel is called pollination. Now, what is germination? Yes, the development of a small plant from a seed is called germination. Very good. Now we will move forward towards the Islamic perspective and has sent down water from the sky. With it have we produced diverse pairs of plants. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne asman se barish par sahi hai aur Allah Ta'ala ne is se bain teha jo hai wo paude jo hai wo paida kiye hai jo ke jodon ki surat mein hai. So my dear students, इसके अलावा जो है हमने germination जो है उसको देखा था मुख्तलिफ जो है हमने ये देखा था कि जो हमें conditions चाहिए होती हैं for germinating of a seed हमने उसके बारे में भी discuss किया. So one by one, let's look at the student learning outcome and the reading page and let's revise it. So my dear students, in the first lecture we discussed about we examined and described the structure of a flower. So, we have seen a structure, a flower structure, we have seen its internal structures, we have seen male and female reproductive parts. So, the male parts are called stamen and their two parts are anther and filament. The female part that is called carpal and its three parts are stigma, style and ovary. Inside the ovary there are ovules or eggs. Now, quickly name parts of flowers and their specific functions. Draw and label the structure of a flower. Very good. Now we will move forward. So in the next lecture, we uh, the students uh, define the pollination and describe its types with examples. So my dear students, next lecture में हमने different तरह की pollination के बारे में पढ़ा था. कौन-कौन से जो different flower के structures हैं वो involved होते हैं इस pollination में हमने उसके बारे में पढ़ा. हमने देखा कि जो anthers होते हैं उसके अंदर very small powdery form में pollens होते हैं और जब वो transfer हो जाते हैं from the anther to the stigma of the female part, carpal के part के ऊपर तो that is called pollination. अब ये pollination जो है ये दो तरीके से होती थी. या तो ये within a plant हो सकती है. सेम फ्लावर भी हो सकती है और सेम फ्लावर्स सेम प्लांट के फ्लावर्स में भी हो सकती है सो डेट इस कॉल्ड सेल्फ पोलिनेशन लेकिन अगर सेम प्लांट्स हैं बट दे आर टू सेपरेट प्लांट्स सो और उनके दरमियान अगर पोलिनेशन हो रही है तो दैस इस डेट इस कॉल्ड क्रॉस पोलिनेशन ये इंसेक्स के थ्रू भी हो सकती है विंड के थ्रू भी हो सकती है एयर के थ्रू भी हो सकती है सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स डिफाइन द प्रोसेस ऑफ पोलिनेशन राइट द टाइप्स ऑफ पोलिनेशन डिस्कस इन डिटेल very good. Now we will move forward. So, uh, how the transfer of pollen grains are possible? Through air, water or through insects. So, my dear students, in the next lecture, we discussed about define the reproduction and differentiate between sexual and asexual reproduction. So, my dear students, we have studied in the next lecture how the reproduction is done. Because when the pollination is done, how will the reproduction be done? How will the fusion of male sperms and female eggs be done? So, this is called reproduction. And we have studied this about this. So, there are two types of reproduction. We have studied sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. So, in asexual reproduction, there are no male and female parts required. ये एक ही प्लांट के अंदर जो है उसके जो डिफरेंट वेजिटेटिव पार्ट्स हैं वो जो है जब रिप्रोड्यूस करते हैं या उनसे एक नया प्लांट डेवलप हो जाता है तो डेट इस कॉल्ड एसेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वेर एस इन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन पोलन ग्रेन्स का ट्रांसफर होता है फ्रॉम मेल टू फीमेल प्लांट इसके अंदर दोनों रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट्स जो है मेल और फीमेल जरूरी होते हैं और इसके साथ ही जो है जो फ्यूजन बिटवीन द टू सेल्स मेल एंड फीमेल दैट इस कॉल्ड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सो नाउ क्विकली डिफाइन द then what are three modes of natural asexual reproduction? Bulbs, tubers and runners are the natural 
uh, um, asexual reproduction. So, my dear students, explain the comparison between asexual and sexual reproduction. Very good, excellent. Now, we will move forward. Then, in the next lecture, we compare and contrast the structures and functions of chickpea and maize seeds. So, my dear students, we have chickpea and maize seed, a monocot or a dicot, we have done a comparison. Kiya tha. So, uh, monocot seeds are in the single cotyledon, they are in the endosperm present, hota hai, whereas in dicots, there are two cotyledon leaves, in the uh, endosperm is absent. Hota hai. So, um, this is what we have in monocots and dicots seeds. Ke andar padi thi. So, maize seed is monocot, whereas chickpea seed is dicot. Now, quickly differentiate between monocot and dicot seeds. Very good, excellent. Now, we will move forward. So, my dear students, we have compared and contrasted. 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 We have compared and name the parts of chickpea seeds. That is embryo, testa, plumule, radical, cotyledon, and then uh, it had epicotyle. So, these are the parts of uh, a dicot seed or a chickpea seed. So, my dear students, um, uh, in the next lecture, we discussed about the germination. Kaise germination hoti hai? What is germination? Describe hypogeal mode of germination. So, my dear students, we दो uh, monocots और dicots बेशक के दोनों का structure different होता है, but दोनों uh, जो seeds थे maize और um, chickpea के दोनों जो है वो hypogeal mode of germination से germinate करते हैं. Hypogeal means के जो इनका cotyledon होता है या seed जो होता है, it remains underground. So that is called hypogeal germination. और uh, इसके अंदर जो radicals हैं, uh, they make up the roots, the plumule and the epicotyle. They make the uh, shoots and the first leaves of the plant after germination. So, my dear students, in the next lecture, we illustrate the conditions necessary for seed germination. We have different conditions. We have to seed germinate for seed germination. We have to make water, oxygen, um, warmth. We have to make sure that we So, we have to make sure that So, which conditions are necessary for germination? Very good, excellent. Now we will move forward. Uh, what suitable temperature usually germinates seeds required? Germinating seeds required. It needs warm temperature. Warmth chahiye hoti hai taake ye quickly jo hai wo germinate kar sake. Uh, and the temperature is usually 15 to 30 degree centigrade ke darmiyan mein rehta hai. So my dear students, now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form. So my dear students, this is an assessment sheet. You have evaluation bhi karega ki aapne is chapter se kya kya kuch sikha hai. So let's start, write down your class and your name and then start the question. Write the parts of the flower that performs each function. Choose from these words. Receive pollens, holds up anther, आपको इनके सामने लिखने हैं और इन वर्ड्स से आप हेल्प लेके यहाँ पर लिखेंगे इनका फंक्शन। Contains ovules that eventually become seeds. Question number four. Read the text below. Write the missing words in the spaces. Choose from the words in the boxes. So my dear students, यहाँ पे कुछ सेंटेंसेस दिए गए हैं। आपको इन वर्ड्स की मदद से इन बॉक्सेस को फिल करना है। So it's very easy. ये हम काफी दफा जो है वो पढ़ चुके हैं। Then write the number 1 to 5 to show the correct order of plant's life cycle. So my dear students, we have here the germination of plant. You have to put the correct number to it. Which picture will come with 1, which will come with 2, 3, 4 and 5. So my dear students, this uh, was your evaluation sheet. Uh, you can pause the video, complete it and then submit it to your teacher. I hope you have done it. So, your teacher will give you marks accordingly. Now, we will move forward towards your homework. So, in today's homework, what you will do is plant a seed and focus on the conditions necessary for its germination. Also, discuss with your parents. So, my dear students, a plant ko germinate, aap ne ek seed ko jo hai wo so karna hai zameen mein aur aap ko focus karna hai ki kya usko wo tamam uh, conditions jo hai wo uh, mil rahi hai jo ki usko germination ke liye help karengi. और आपको ये तमाम कंडीशंस जो हैं अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ भी डिस्कस करनी है। So this will be a fun practical activity. Perform it at your homes. And what have we learnt in this 
chapter. Let's have a look. Now all the students are able to examine and describe the structure of a flower. They are now able to define pollination and describe its types with examples. You are now able to define reproductive and uh, reproduction and differentiate between sexual and asexual reproduction in plants. You are also able to describe the structure of a seed and demonstrate its germination. Uh, students are now able to compare and contrast the structures and functions of a chickpea and maize seed and they are also able to illustrate the conditions necessary for seed germination. So my dear students, you have covered all points that you have covered, you have understood it. If you find any difficulty, you can re-watch the related lecture. So my dear students, uh, keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.